Hello, Rough Rider Nation, and welcome to this edition of the 2018-19 Rider Report, the ins and outs of Yavapai College Athletics. I'm Brad Clifford, the Athletic Director here at Yavapai College, and I'm joined today by the new Yavapai College softball pitching coach and recruiting coordinator, Erica Bennett. Erica, welcome to the program. Welcome to Yavapai College. Thank you, Brad. It's welcome, a pleasure. It's it, a pleasure. Welcome to the, the Rough Rider program, the storied <laughs> Rough Rider program. We're going to go into uh, your history with Yavapai College here in Alrighty. a second. Erica brings a wealth of knowledge, softball knowledge, and experience to Yavapai College softball. <laughs> She's played on the NJCA, winning a national in, in the NJCA, winning a national title. Yes. Winning an MVP award uh, in 2010. We'll talk about that later. She played at the NCAA level. Uh, you've played internationally with uh, Mexico, Mexico mm -hmm. uh, and you coached at the NCAA. So you, you bring a ton of experience. So expound on your experience a little bit. Uh, on everything I just talked about, right. expound on it. <laughs> well, I mean, coming from, you know, an Arizona native, I started growing up, you know, I grew up in Sierra Vista, Arizona, so southeast of Tucson, and... I went to Buena High School and was a third uh, string pitcher, uh, third, second string third baseman. And I mean, I worked my tail off and, you know, going from junior college all the way into Miami, Florida, it was, a, it was quite an experience. I mean, it opened my eyes, but it was a perfect right kind of feeling when I stepped on that campus. And when I got there, it was just a great, Great coaching staff all around, teammates. Um, went to the national championship my sophomore year, and I mean, it was a solid team. And we faced Java Pie, and which was, I mean, being topped, ranked continuously throughout the years. I mean, just a competitive team. So it was great to experience that. And then um, after I did my two years there at Miami Dade, I went to Marshall and did my years there, and I, I loved it. Great. Um, team camaraderie and a lot of um, uh, the atmosphere at Marshall was just fantastic. So, and I went to grad school, and that's when I started playing internationally. And since then, I've been playing for about five, five and a half years. And you know, now I'm here. Now you got into coaching. Yeah. So let's go backwards a little bit because okay. you, you you were a third string pitcher. Yes. How do you go from a third string pitcher to an MVP pitcher <laughs> in the national tournament? I mean, I worked my tail off. I I would go home and fortunately, you know, my dad built a softball field and he was, um, he was, you know, building this for me, told me to use it to my advantage and I, I just went back there and I'd work with him, I'd throw to a tire and it was just an awesome, you know, and I think any child would love a, a backyard, right. you know. Back, backyard yeah. softball field. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. So, um, I mean, I just, I, t I told, my, told myself, I said, you know, I'm going somewhere where nobody knows me. I'm going to make that difference. And I had my coach tell me, you know, we had this girl pitch this, this many strikeouts, these many in innings, and I'm like, oh, it's on. It's a battle. <laughs> <laughs> <Very cool. laughs> so, so, I mean, I worked, I worked hard. I, you know, I had teammates that worked hard, made me push myself. Um, challenging, I mean, a, a teammate that came from the Dominican Republic that played for the Dominican Republic national team. And that was scary because yeah. she was good. And, you know, I, I compared myself a little bit. But, you know, I challenged myself and I said, you know what? She's going to throw a strike. I'm going to throw a strike. <laughs> so, I mean, that was a great experience. So you're, 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 you're driven. Yes. You're driven. Yes. So, so very cool. So you go, I mean, culture shock from Sierra Vista, Hereford, yes. to Miami. Yes. That, that's quite a culture <laughs> shock there. It was, you know, I expected palm trees everywhere, beaches everywhere. It was big city. Yeah. I mean, uh, it really opened my eyes. And, you know, I've lived in different states, and it's kind of great kind of to see that. And, I mean, now I've seen big to small. I mean, going to my first coaching job in Dodge City, Kansas, I mean, smallest town I think I've ever been to. Right, right, <laughs> So, right. I mean, it's it's awesome. So so, so you, you pitch in the national tournament. You beat us, I believe, in the semifinals, I believe. Yes. Semifinals, and I think the score was 11 to 1, if I remember. Yes. I mean, you beat us pretty handily. <laughs> that tournament, you won four games. You were 4 and You, yes. personally, on the mound, 4 and 0. Yeah. I don't know how many strikeouts, but that was you, – you were pitching at your peak right there. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, luckily I had a great hitting team behind us. You know, that was – that's always nice. That's always a good comfort to have that. But um, 
I mean, I, I faced some really good hitters, and it came close to some teams where it, it could have changed the whole atmosphere. Right. I mean, uh, another top team, a, a Chipola, uh -huh. um, they barely hit a grand slam foul, and that could have changed. And that could have changed the whole complexion cold, of the yes. game. Yes, and so, I mean, it was a three-hour long game. Wow. And, um, we eventually got the good call, and <laughs> and it was right, which was right. Yeah, and good. <laughs> so, um, no controversy. Yes, yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, a great competition up there. I, I know one game I had thrown 16 strikes, strikeouts, and I think there was maybe about 12 or 9. I think it might have been 9 in a row. Wow. So, um, I mean... I came back mid-season because I, I had gone into a car accident, a little small minor car accident, but kept me out for a little bit. And I mean, I pushed through it, you know. And, so. had, a, and it had an incredible ending yes. to a, a JUCO career. Yes. That's awesome. So you go to Marshall. We are Marshall. Yes. You go to Marshall and, and you have two good years, two good years there. Yes. Uh, and then how do you get picked on the Mexican national team? Well, I had a teammate my freshman year. Um, that played for the Mexican national team. And my coach previously coached for the Colombian team. Okay. And so um, I told her, I said, hey, I'm Mexican. And she goes, oh, you should play for Mexico. And sure enough, um, I didn't know the rules back then, but you can play for a national team. Awesome. And so when I graduated, I told her, hey, give me a call, you know, if, if, if they want me. And uh, they gave me a call. And unfortunately, I had knee surgery after oh, my shoot. senior year. So I said, call me back next year. Right. And they did. And I mean, that background that I have is my grandma has residency in Mexico. Okay. So she she lives in the U.S., but her residency is in Mexico. Okay. And uh, that allows me to play. That was you to play. Yeah. Very so, neat. What an experience. Yeah. So it's the greatest opportunity that I've ever had. That so, is fantastic. Yeah. So you go, you, you, you coached at Dodge City. You coached at Florida Gulf Coast. Yes. You coached at UTEP. You coached, there's another one in, in between there somewhere. Uh, I did grad school at Lake Erie, Ohio. Grad school at Lake yeah. Erie, okay. Mm -hmm. And so that, that was my first two years of actual coaching. Okay, so yeah. you, you, you bring some experience in coaching. Yes. Now, pitching coach, you, you, is that all you've done is pitching coach? Um, or you had to do it all? I had to do it all. I had uh, my first year, I had to step up and be interim head coach at Lake Erie College. Well, and welcome to coaching <laughs> rinks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, I mean, it was a... a Put your big girl panties on, and sure enough, and let's go. Let's go, and so that's that's very what we neat. did. Very neat. Well, what an awesome experience yeah. for you. All right, you hit the floor one, running when you got here. You had to. We we lost a pitcher, and we needed to go find one. Yeah. So we did. You did. Yes. We did. <laughs> and uh, how's how are we shaping up? How are you shaping up team wise? We're, the team set. The team is set. We have our 17, and we're ready to roll. I mean, uh, we came through, and uh, Doug told me we needed to go find another pitcher, and. We found one and we got a hold of her and brought her down and here she is. She's coming in tomorrow. Tomorrow. No. Saturday. Saturday. Right. Saturday. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Very soon so. here. Very soon. <laughs> so so we're all set team wise and, yes. and we're ready to get going the first day of, of of class. Now we have three pitchers, is that right? Yes, correct. Okay. And you haven't seen any of them, so haven't except seen for ex except for the most recent. Yes, yes. So that's the only one that I've seen. And so. and you're optimistic about that? Oh yeah, she she has a lot of potential, so good. I'm super excited. Very good. Uh, all right, what do you bring to the table, you personally, to the table for Yabba College softball? Well, to the coaching staff, um, I think I bring a lot of enthusiasm, uh, recruiting enthusiasm, um, just experience and knowledge i still have a lot of learning but i i mean doug is a great head coach and i'm ready to to work with him and i know we're going to work side by side so um it's great to have that and i think i'm going to bring just that 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 confidence to show the girls you can do it i mean you guys are one of the top schools in junior college so why not you know why not why not let's let right. why not us let's go yeah. get it and um you know that's going to be a big key is just having that confidence and going in there and showing them that we know how to coach. This is what this is how we know how to do it. I think what you bring and just this is just you know knowing you in a short time is is knowing your background. I mean, you started as a third string pitcher yeah. and worked your way to to the top level, uh, to the to, to the pinnacle of pitching. Uh, I think that kind of confidence is going to exude to those to those to our players coming in. Oh yeah, and and with to the team, you know, I bring a lot of a, a lot of knowledge. I mean, I've been there. I've been at the JUCO level, the 
uh, Division One and worked at different levels of, of, of the collegiate atmosphere. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to have that knowledge of what they need to do in order to move on to, to get better. And I'm one to really focus on, you know, technique, mechanics, and being able to do that, I think that's going to help those girls that haven't had a, a, a pitching coach consistently. Right. And so that's going to be um, a big step for them. And I think that's going to be a, um, an advantage to the softball program. Absolutely. All right, our fall practice begins on the first day of school. Our first fall game is September 8th yes. at 12 p.m. down at Bill Valley Field. Yes. Uh, and it's a doubleheader. Correct. Uh, and then and then we just go throughout the fall season. We've got, I believe, nine dates yes. uh, that we're playing games. Yep, and uh, our last game will be against ASU down at the... Down at ASU. Yes. So that's always a big deal for yeah. us. Well, Erica, thank you for joining us. Welcome to the program. We're thank so you. glad you're here. We want to tell you about a special event coming up here in, in, in August. The college will be celebrating their 50th anniversary. The dates will be August 24th and 25th for the actual celebration. On the 25th, we'll have a home soccer match against Irvine Valley College, and that, that'll be at a 2 o'clock, a rare 2 o'clock start. And at halftime of that match, Yavapai College will be recognizing former Rough Rider softball coach Stacy Iveson. She's going to be here with her husband and son and uh, m numerous members of her teams. She is a 2018 inductee into the Arizona Community College Athletic Conference, ACCAC Hall of Fame. And so while she was here at Yavapai College, she obviously won two national championships. She won the two bookends on your <laughs> national championship, 2009-2011. Yes. <laughs> and uh, prior to Yavapai, she, Stacy was at Pima where she won two other national championships. So she's got four in the ACCAC. Uh, therefore, she's going to be a Hall of Fame member. So come and join us on the 25th at the soccer match. At halftime, we'll be doing that. Uh, like I said, it's the 50th anniversary. Get all of your Rough Rider news at www.goroughriders.com. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, on Twitter. Uh, we just unveiled uh, our new mascot. Go on our Facebook page and look at that. And as always, go Rough Riders.